Hi guys, my name is Divyanka and I'm a pharmacy student. You guys might recognize me from my other channel here on YouTube and what I talk about on that channel is photography, videography, and dancing. But for my career field, I am actually in pharmacy school and so I thought I'd start this channel and share with you guys what I'm doing in the pharmacy realm of things and hopefully I have tips and tricks to share with you guys for you to understand pharmacy better and if some of you guys are in pharmacy school then I hope that my tips and tricks will help you out. So currently I'm actually a P4 in pharmacy school. That means I'm in my last year of the graduate years of pharmacy school. If you're in a six year program, sometimes you're called sixth years and usually graduate students are called P1 through four for each of the years. So however you wanna call it, I'm in my last year of pharmacy school and so I'm almost done, but I have a lot on my mind in terms of what I can share with you guys and how I can help you guys. So I really hope that this channel and what I talk about helps you guys and yeah, that's that. Let's just grow and share together. Now, this video is going to be just a quick 101 on pharmacy and pharmacy school. So what exactly is pharmacy? Pharmacy is of course the creation, utilization, and the dispensing of medications to patients to clinically help patients in any realm. There's a multitude of different topics under pharmacy, and usually that's what a pharmacy student learns in school. Now, I don't know if this is just me, but growing up, I truly never thought about a pharmacist and their job role, how they got there, and just pharmacy as a career. I feel like I thought about doctors and healthcare, but pharmacy was never a big picture in that for me as a child. But now, of course, gone through pharmacy school and maturing just a little bit, you realize that pharmacy is a huge part of it. Now, let's just go over schooling and programs in case you guys are willing to know about those or if you guys have never heard of pharmacy and how you can earn a degree in one, I hope this is insightful. So, there are two ways that you can go to pharmacy school. One is straight out of high school into a six-year program. And so what that means is that usually some schools have a six-year program. So the first two years technically are your undergraduate years, and then the last four are your graduate years. And then some schools do a four and four, so you can go get your bachelor's degree for four years in XYZ and then apply to pharmacy school, which will be another four years. So that's kind of more along the track of a normal graduate school. You do your undergrad and then you do your graduate. But the six-year program is actually quite popular, and that is what program I'm in right after high school I went straight into the six-year program and now I'm currently in my sixth year of that program and I'm soon to be done. We can go into the pros and cons of the two types of programs in another video and it really depends on school. If you guys are not aware there's a PCAT exam which is like the MCAT or the GRE. Any type of graduate school that requires that kind of testing is the same in pharmacy. Many schools require the PCAT but if you're in an accelerated program like the six-year program a lot of schools waive the necessity for that PCAT exam depending on your undergrad grades things like that a lot of different schools have different nuances and again that's something that we can get into in a different video but just as an outline those are the two options in terms of pharmacy school now regardless of what schooling system you choose and the path you take at the end the degree that you receive is called a doctor of pharmacy or a PharmD. Now, when I first got into pharmacy school, it was actually not a very well-known degree, but now everyone knows what a PharmD is. The second you tell someone you're in pharmacy school and you're a pharmacy student, automatically nine out of 10 times they'll be like, oh, you're getting your PharmD, okay. And it's a very well-known degree currently, and it's a very well-respected degree. You do have a doctorate in front of your name once you graduate, and so that stands for something. Again, regardless of what path you chose in terms of schooling, at the end of it, you are learning as much in the healthcare field as any other doctorate might. And so again, it's a very respected degree and it's not something that you should take lightly. And of course, in this instance, with a lot of respect comes responsibility. So of course you have a doctorate in front of your name once you do graduate, but again, that comes with a lot of responsibility and a lot of people can say that you are truly handling people's lives in your hand like a doctor might be. Now this video is just a quick 101, so I just wanted to introduce myself 
myself and we'll get into specific topics later but one thing I did want to say is that pharmacy is not a small career and regardless of your personality regardless of what your interests are I can assure you that if you're on the fence about going to pharmacy school or if you're just thinking if it is for you there's a multitude of different careers you can go into from getting a PharmD so again keep your mind open research everything that you can and there's a lot more to pharmacy than you might think so in my opinion there's a place for everyone there are certain aspects of pharmacy there are certain careers in pharmacy that I personally do not see myself in but some that I really really do and I'm really interested in so that's gonna be the case for almost everyone and there is definitely a spot for you so again if it's something you're thinking about reach out to me if you have any questions my emails down in the description bar below or do your research online and you'll find a multitude of different resources again I hope this channel is going to be helpful this is just a quick intro video and I'm going to be doing a lot more content so definitely stay tuned and subscribe and I hope these will be helpful for you. See you next time.